it's very cold. Oh, I need to take <laughs> undo my hair and put my beanie back on. It's very cold in this car. But we are on uh, a little weekend adventure. We're going back to Wiltshire. Why are they taking us that route? I don't want to go that route. Really? Do you want to go that route? Do you know what I'd love? It's on. Is it? We're heading to a place called Avebury. Uh, you may have seen it in a vlog a long time ago. I took Tom Syndicate there. It's a place where uh, there's these stones, right? Are you sure you haven't like, taken like, me say, there before? It's a bit, we've driven through it, I think, before. I think in Chippy. We've driven do through you remember it. in Chippy? Yeah. We parked in some pub and we sat in the back and ate lunch. Do you yes, remember? yeah, it's there. It's Is that there. it? Yes, it's and there. And there's like random stones yes, everywhere. Yes, yes. Well, can you pretend that you don't? You've not been I've there before. I've never been. But to be honest, I don't remember it. And, all, <laughs> okay, and also, we had we literally stopped in the car park and sat and ate our lunch in the back of Chippy. Yeah, we did actually. That's right. all we did, and then we kept going because it was so, quite late and nothing was open. We've stopped at a service station because Diane. She's doing this new thing where she's trying to drink as much water as possible, which is what you want to do, isn't it, when you're on a long car journey? We all do it every year. We always go, oh, do you know what? I need to drink more water. And annoyingly, Diane's timed it perfectly with a long car journey. So um, this is the first service station we've got to. We're going down to Wiltshire as well to see my dad. Um, Diane's made some cupcakes for him. She opened them up as we were arriving and they stink of like cheesy feet. And it was making her laugh. So she was like basically on the verge of weeing herself as I'm trying to drive um, as quickly as I can into the service station for her to go and use the toilet. So, so far it's been quite an adventure of a, uh, of a car journey, but there's still more to go. We're gonna head to, we're actually not far away, we're only 40, 48 minutes away. I dropped at the front and said, look, you just go, I'll go park somewhere and then you can meet me afterwards. I don't need a wee. I'm saying that now, but I'm starting to think, as soon as we leave here, am I gonna need a wee? I'm a little bit worried that I might do, but I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna cross my fingers and cross something else. How's that? Better? My picture. Better refreshed? What she, picture? I sent you a picture. I look on your phone. My face was <laughs> when I was pissing. That is the face of a relieved, a relieved <laughs> pisser right there. It was the best. But do you know what happened? So, you know those? Have you seen those toilet seats and they're like these clear things? You have to press a button to. And I was like, no? not today. What? It was like, so there's these, they're clear toilet seat and you've got to press a button, but you need to know where that button is. A clear toilet seat? Yeah, and I was like. I've never heard of this. Yeah. Is it just a girl thing? I don't know, but. Also, can like we find clear... out, can we find out if it was these that stank or you? <laughs> <laughs> Open them up. Don't, because they smell. Because they're for my dad. <laughs> have a bletch, have a whiff inside. Is it those? <laughs> is it? Oh, it is these. No, no, they're all right. They're all right. Yeah. No, it, no, it is. It's from far away. They smell like guff. <laughs> she's not made cupcakes. She's made guff cakes. From, from far think... away, they stink, but from close I up, they smell all right. I can laugh about it now. Oh my god, why do they smell so bad? Close up, they're fine. Yeah. From far Are away. Are you sure it was chocolate spread and not something else? <laughs> we'll make sure he just sniffs them close. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sniff it close. <laughs> Oh, piss on my tits, it's cold. Tell them what we just did, though. What did we do? Well, we walked all the way in. Yeah. Joe was like, I don't think I locked the car. I got paranoid that I didn't lock the car, so I just walked all the way back again. And now I've got a thing where I try and talk in the cold, and my face goes numb, so I can't get my words out properly. But you did change your jacket. I have, yeah, this is good. way better. Ooh. Now that is a thatch and a half, isn't it? Jeez. Fun fact, me and my Uncle Gary once got asked to price this up. We didn't get the job. So uh, that's why it looks like how it does now. It should have got me and Uncle Gary to do it. Oh. It's actually really nice. Hey. Oh, it got sweet. We got the chunky bread. Look at that. I think that's another, that's, that's another Gary and Joe special right there. Is it? I think so, yeah. Oh, she's going for the field, look. What size these stones? Got an absorber energy. Absorb the energy of the stones. Oh, look, she's really getting into it. Don't. Oh, she's really getting into it. <laughs> so you're telling me that these things were just there by some druids 3,000 years BC? I don't think so. There's, there's something. There's something up in this place. It's too unique. How they managed to do a perfect circle. Oh, she's got her crystals out. Oh, God. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm 
Okay, I I'm getting... swear to you, my fingers are like going funny. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting frostbite. No matter you. I think they're quite cold. Have they charged yet? Is this still got the price stickers on? I'm not kidding. Oof. Charged it? Whoa. Really? Yeah. Oh, time, time to go? Yeah. You sure that's the one? I think that one's got more charge on it. No, it don't. You sure? Don't tease me because I, I felt something. Really? Look at that. You're telling me that's just been like. How many times have you said that? I just don't get it. I want to know the, I want to know the truth. You're telling me. You're telling me. I'm telling you. Because look, there's also a giant um, ditch here. I need to. Uh, do you know what? What I'll do on the on screen now. I'll pop in an aerial view of what this place looks like from from olden times. You're telling me that this. You're telling me this is just just here. So there's more to this story than meets the eye. And I want to know the I don't want to know the answers. I mean, this is my favourite house in Avebury. That is a cool house. Nice, yeah, like the old red brick looks wicked. Hello. Hello. What an absolute boy. Hello. Right, I'm at Dad's house, and he's cut a bloody, a giant hole in his floor. Put the lid on it. No, because I'll shit, I'll shit your pants. That's good for the vlog. Shit your pants. Oh, I need a torch. Can you pass me my coat? I need a torch. A coat? Oh, you get to come over that? Yes. Jesus. Is it, is, is it scary down there? There's a big lake. turd down here. Is that yours, Clyde? That's the manifold, Joe, you're looking at. Are you actually going to take this camera, or what? Oh. Oh yeah, well. Oh my god, look, so this is actually underneath the house. No! Oh no, he trapped me under it. Oh shit. Help! Help! This is actually very creepy. Yeah. Diane, you gotta have a go after this. You've gotta do it. This is uh, Dad's Chris Christmas present? No, birthday present. Birthday. How do you know? I have no idea how to work air fries, but I've heard they're great. They don't look done at all. God, it's a big bit of kit, isn't it? Dan's getting, well, Dan's getting envious of this. Yeah, I'm quite jealous that. Uh, it's better than ours, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a little, we've got a little one basher. I got, I got the cheapest one off Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> is that why? Is that why ours just doesn't? Is just crap? Yeah, because of course I want the cheapest one. Apparently, Ninja's a good one, though, right? Do you know who swears by these? Kim. Strictly podcast. Does she? Yeah, she, she got one and she loves it. Um, this is our room for the night. Oh my! So nice. What blows my mind, right, is that we're in a pub in Corsham. Corsham, for those of you that don't know, is where I went to secondary school. We're in a pub in Corsham. I never knew. I've been hit. I've been to this pub so many times in my life. I never knew it had a hotel. And I never knew the rooms were like this as well. My God. Very very comfy bed. The bathroom is. Wicked. Definitely have to go in that bath later. Um, we've got a mini bar down here. All this kind of stuff. Um, we've got one of these, which I don't know what that is. Dice the, what is that? Dyson. Yeah, I didn't what know what it was. I think it's a heat. Um, must be either a heater or a. What, like a bin? Is it a bin? No. Like a, some sort of airflow thing. Yeah. Um, but the best thing, the best thing about it all is, each room comes with one of these magazines. And and look who's on the cover of Wiltshire Living. Do you think they'll mind if I if I take this? Nah. Because I don't. For me, it's a big deal, right? Wiltshire Living. I'm sure they would. They would let you take it. Ah, oh, what if they've not got any more? I'm sure. I've got. I've got. I mean, I've got to take this. I just wish that I shaved my face before this photo shoot. Um, no, you look cute. In do that. you think? If you're ever in caution, you want somewhere to stay. So far, highly recommend. The Methuen Arms in Quartram. Very, very lovely. Good morning and welcome to day two of Vlogmas. <laughs> Vlogmas. Um, what a lovely night's stay, my word. My friends turned up at the pub last night, which is great because it's directly below here. <laughs> so it was really ideal. I could go down, have a few drinks with them, and then come back upstairs to bed. Didn't, have to, didn't even have to walk home. Just walk straight upstairs, boom, done. Um, we're now going to leave, go and have breakfast first, then we're going to leave, go for a walk, I think, around Corsham. But I'm just going to say now, I think I'm going to take this home. I think, should I take this with me? Yeah, yeah, definitely take it with you. Do you think? Do you think I'll yeah. get angry if I take it? No. Okay, sorry, Matthew, in. I owe you a magazine. Shoe, look after the magazine for me. Big moment of truth. <laughs> oh, is it good? No, I'm doing it. Um... We're in Corsham, right? I, I grew up here basically. Ooh. I used, I was here my entire teenage years. I never knew that was there. What is that? 
I never knew that was there. Yeah, look at that. Derelict. It's very cool though. We're on the way home. Um, we stopped off at a servo, a little service station. Dan's gonna get something for a roast later on. Um, and a little spot to eat for lunch. Um, we saw my dad again this morning and went to go see my nan as well, which is really nice. Um, something just happened. Behind me, I could hear a noise. I was like, what was that? I looked. There's a bin behind me. I didn't even see it. Like, through there somewhere. There. That bin. I could hear a noise. A crow flew over to the bin, pulled out a Burger King bag, knew which end of the bag to grab as well, grabbed the bottom of the bag, lifted it up, shook out a burger box, opened the burger box with its beak and took half a burger and flew off with it. I thought I was seeing things. Um, crows are clever. Look, there they are. They're fighting over it. I see you crows. Look, they're fighting, oh, just out of spot. They're fighting over the Burger King bag. I just found a frog. Oh, hello, mate. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Look at you. Whoa. And there's another one. What do we think of this? Dan's doing a clear out. This is why I have a problem. <laughs> I get stuff. Oh. Like this. What is that? What is that? What, what is that? Oh, I thought this would be really fun to buy. What, to wear in public? From the Strictly sale. That's yeah. the thing. I think Strictly to gives wear... you a bit of rose-tinted glasses, isn't I it? I don't like, understand what I look at or why On I a Strictly this. ballroom floor, that is great. This like but... a Charleston. Um, I look like I'm going out to do a freaking Charleston. <sighs> if you went to... Do you dare me to wear that somewhere? To be fair, though, if you work around Brighton, I don't think people would really blink an eyelid. People would probably say I like your outfit. They probably would. They'd ask you where you got it from. One day, you should challenge me to wear this out and I will wear it out. I wore my Strictly outfits in public for a week. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Diane was chucking this out and I thought, oh, I'll put this on because I went to an event last night. There was a lot of people at this event last night wearing stuff like this and it looked really, really cool. So I was like, oh, I wonder if I could pull it off. Turns out I should just pull it off and put it somewhere in the charity pile, probably, shouldn't no, I? No, I don't mind because... it on you if I'm honest. I just I think I'm past the years where I could pull something like this off. You need a bit of a tan with it, but I mean, this is top or no paint. Is if I was 19 again, then this would be a this would be a winner, but not what so much anymore. That? Paint is top. I quite like that. Show my piles. And to be fair though, Diane's charity pile is looking hench. You've got some old classics in there as well. This is quite sad. Quite a sad time. Remember this jumper? Oh, the America jumper. Um, many a. Uh, where did I get that from? I can't remember where I got it from. Uh, Nottingham, I think it was, from the thrift shop in Nottingham. But off to a new home, along with that. I will say, this is the fragrance um, that I was given last night at this event. It is lovely. Gentleman Society. Look at you go. You ready? I'll jump backwards. <laughs> no, you won't. You, Diane was always like, the first time we came from the loft, Diane was terrified I'm like, honestly, of getting up here. Wim Hof has made me a new person. Now, easy peasy, look at you go. We're having a spring clean, right? Um, we're gonna take a load of clothes to the charity shop and Diane's, I, we come up here, Diane didn't even know that she had these clothes. And then, she, look, you're, no, you're doing it too many times. You're, you're starting to collect a pile of clothes you wanna keep still. No, these are all up here for a reason. Did you remember you had these? No. Exactly, then get rid, we don't but, need them. Do you know what, Joseph? <laughs> no, there's too many. No, no. She's no, chucking one. Spugly, spugly. Yes. No, yes, cool. Down there it goes. Yes. Yeah, that's going. Daily Mail, Saturday, the June 24th, 1978. What? This paper is from the 1970, from 1978. Look, easy, easy. ITV win our cup. It's all over now. Bar tomorrow's final. All that remains in for the 1978 World Cup is for players and panelists to peak, to pack their bags and go home. For the past three weeks, TV mail own panel have been monitoring and the action and the TV experts. Here's what to say, Johnny Spee. I love stuff like this, like old newspapers to find out what life was like back then. Look at that car. The T, oh my God, the TV listings. So on BBC One, not, oh my God, look, not in color. So if it had a star next to it, it means that it wasn't even in colour, didn't even really have colour TV back then. This is 1978, so they should have done, but 
not everything was in colour. And this is Saturday as well, so okay, so Saturday, prime time on BBC. Uh, 5.30, you have Tom and Jerry. Then you had the news, weather and sport. Then Dad's Army. Then at six ten, are you being served? Then the World Cup. Our World Cup was on, so it's different things. World Cup grandstand. Lenny and Jerry. News, weather. Then Kojak, Sailor, Sinatra and friends. Oh my God, that's so cool. Uh, Mash was on at eight twenty five. A Bird's Life, Royal Heritage Network. Um, and then there was only there was only three channels back then. There was BBC One, BBC Two, and then just London Channel. London had its own channel. You cannot be serious right now. You cannot be serious. I'm trying to How get... How are you trying to get that pound out of that trolley? Ah, uh, you got to twist it that way. You are you are joking, aren't you? <laughs> no! How do you think you get your pound back? Like, use your brain. Well, Come on. I tried to think. pull it so out. you're trying to get this to go in the back of there, right? Yeah. You're trying to get this to go in the back of there. Yeah. So, think about it. How would you do it? When there's other trolleys there, think about it. And that's no, all I can cold. think about. No, cold. No, that's not, that's not gonna help. <laughs> think, dot. You okay, um, you're trying to get one of these, one of these things. Yeah. That looks very much like the, these other, like, look at these other trolleys here. Oh, uh, yeah, they're connected. <laughs> I get it. Oh my God. <laughs> you are something else. You've just written a book. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't. Do you know what? As well, I always try and back you up. I say, no, Diane is clever. You she's, wait till we get home. She's good at riddles. I've actually got something for you. Normally, you're home. really good at riddles and doing things like that. That is, that was something else. I have, something, <laughs> I have definitely something for you when we get home. Oh my god.